Hey there YouTube, I thought I would try a simpler format. I have all the gear to do every possible scenario, green screen, uh, fancy lights, everything, all kinds of audio, and I think I kind of overgeared. So let me try something simpler. So what's up? It's end of year. Just finished my How to Speak Machine book. It's out. It tries to help to explain how computation works because it's kind of, well, it's not kind of, it's invisible. It's pretty hard to understand. And it gives a kind of framing, scaffolding to understand things. The fact that computation never takes a break. I know, so tiring to catch up to it, but we'll never catch up to it. Computation loves to span infinite space and also look at infinitesimal details at the same time. Super weird. And also computation can model living things. It can be dynamic. It can flow along with you. It doesn't have to be so robot, robot, robot. It can really get there, get close to you. And if you accept these three properties, it changes how products are made. Products are made now so that they leverage these three special properties. Looping, going large, living, and being able to make Silicon Valley the way it is today, which is a bit weird. Making products that you ship that aren't finished? Weird. Incomplete. How did incomplete become good? Or attaching bugging devices to, that's a dog, <laughs> attaching bugging devices to the software to monitor how it's being used to improve the software, but also to get to know us a lot more closely. And lastly, the ability to make the world super imbalanced. It was already imbalanced, but we're now automating imbalance with these systems that never get tired. They loop forever. They can do things at uncanny scales. And they're doing them like they're kind of like part of our society. And we're letting that happen. Not a problem, but it's a problem if we don't acknowledge it, recognize it. Dog over there is expressing herself. <laughs> and clearly an example of a, not AI, real eye. And uh, we got to love that. Will we love AI someday? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we already are in some way when we like love our Netflix or love our iPhones or Pixel phones or whatever phones. And we're loving the fact that they know so much about us and they adapt into our world. Hmm. But I think I, I think I like my dog better. Thanks for listening in.